Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a costume Haskell um, spread <laughs> lot. <laughs> thank you, thank you, everybody, for joining us. My name is Marilyn. My husband's name is Barry, and we are resellers. Thank you for all the well wishes I received yesterday. I really appreciate each and every one of you. It was really nice and encouraging, and I'm back at it today, so thanks so much. If you haven't been here before, as I said, we are resellers. We sell online, but what we do is we get pieces, we bring them to you first, we put them on YouTube, we give a discounted price, and if you see anything that interests you, you just simply send us an email. We do have written instructions. Just take a uh, screenshot of that, and it will tell you how to purchase. You simply send us an email to one shadymy at gmail.com, and we go from there. I am trying the multiple request, so we will. If we get that, we'll handle it. If we don't, um, we just go with whatever was in the video. Um, so it's not bidding; it is um, putting your best offer in. So let's just push the jewelry to the side and let's just get to it really quick. Um, that's why we're here, right? Just all want to see jewelry. I know I do. Um, before I start, I did promise a couple people that I would show a couple rings. Um, this is my new ring, um, uh, wedding band. It is 14 karat gold, two tone with um, a five um, diamonds. Pretty nice. Thanks. Um, this one is is rubies it is ross simons is it simons or simmons I always get it wrong <laughs> this is a size six and a quarter it is a beauty yes i did test it yes it is sterling silver it is marked um uh 925 um a six even though it's a six and a quarter um and it is rs which is ross simmons or simons i think it's simons <laughs> but it is gorgeous the um, rubies in it are stunning um it's too small for me unfortunately but i do love that and on this one i'm going to do 35 dollars. and then we have this one which is amethyst it is signed um Boma, I believe. 925. That's it. It is smaller. It is a size five and a half. And um, a very modern set. And I'm going to say um, $24 for that one. And the last one I have for today is this one. Oh, no, I have one more. Um, this is an Avon ring. It is adjustable. It is a B. It is yellow rhinestones. And it is signed Avon 925. It right now is set at about, it's a little wide, needs to be re, um, uh, put into more of a circle. And if you want me to do that, I can do that on my other mandal, mandolin. Um, this is an eight and a half right now. But as I said, it is adjustable. And there's that. It's a B with a heart, Avon. And the last one I have is this one. This is a definitely vintage ring. It is um, silver. It says silver, but it is sterling silver. It was um, tested really cool designs um on the side uh interesting um stamping however the glass stone on the inside really doesn't fit well in my opinion so i don't know if this one was replaced or it's just lost you know when um 
I'm not sure if this is a native, but it seems like it was signed like a native ring. And, um, you know, the way they pack their stones, um, if they get wet, um, that sawdust that's under the stone um, gets loose. So I'm not sure if that's the case. And it is scratched up. But it's supposed to be red. I don't know if you can tell that. This is a size... Uh, ten and a half. I think it's an interesting ring um, and you could go and have a different stone put in it would be fabulous. I love the way, see how it is cut through and these are like on top of it and then there's also um, stamping underneath or etching however you want to say it. And there's the back of it. But interesting ring and on this I'm going to say let's do um, I'm going to say 30 on that. Interesting. Okay, now to what was in, um, my mind is so blank, I apologize, uh, the, the lot that we got. As I said, we got this from our local um, jewelry auction, and um, this is fabulous. It does have a couple missing rhinestones. It is a fur clip from um, the 20s um, these are gorgeous blue tips um, I know there's this um, missing I know there's um, maybe maybe that's the only one missing I'm just not seeing any more oh there's one missing right here I knew there was a couple of them so this is beautiful in my opinion there it is close up it is let me find my measuring tape it is two and three eighths of an inch by two and a half inches um there is a little discoloration on the edge here but being an antique in over 100 years um that's pretty fabulous so on this piece, I'm going to say uh, $45, since it does need a few rhinestones replaced. Um, but I am having harder and harder time finding um, fur clips, but this is a beauty. Now here is another piece that is older. It is not missing any rhinestones. It is a bracelet. Um, with a fold over clasp. However, let me see. I believe these stones right here have gotten wet and they're green. So they need to be taken out, um, cleaned, and reset. Um, it is stunning, but no missing rhinestones. There's the back. The way the fold over clasp looks, this looks to be another Art Deco piece. Um, however, you know, Art Deco did um, um, get re, uh, have a revival, so it could also be from the 40s or 50s. It does have a safety um, clasp, and the size of this is seven and a half even though it does not fit me um so it actually um probably i think more in line to a seven and on this one i'm gonna say fifty dollars here this is stunning i did test this and it comes up as jadeite um it is gorgeous it is a size seven and a half and um, it's a beauty. No markings on the inside that I can find at all. It is two and a half across. And on the Jade Bangle bracelet, I'm going to say $45. Now, this is an uh, interesting piece. It is vintage. It is not marked. It has a fold over clasp. And it is kind of a circular um, chain link. 
However, I just noticed this chain only has the outer ring, not the inner ring. Here's the earrings that go with it. So if you didn't need the earrings or want the earrings, what you could do is um, take this inner ring from the earrings and replace it here and then remove the second one and then just have individual earrings. They are screw back. So we know these are um, older, probably from the 40s. The chain necklace, let's see how long that is. is fifteen inches and on the chain link set I'm gonna say just twelve dollars and we have this small little cameo it's resin it's a C clasp it is not magnetic it is small there's the face it is only um, seven eighths of an inch by a little over a half inch. So I'm just gonna say $10 for that piece. Next, let me show you this one. This one is pretty cool. This is, um, <laughs> it's signed Grandma Bessie. I can't read the last name. Prom or from Franny. So it is a empty, it has no perfume in it, but it's a perfume bottle, a very old. It is um, still in the box. It has a Paris, it has the Eiffel Tower. There's the back. It does have a little fuzz on it. It does screw off. It does have the dipper in it. I've sold many of these and they do well. I am still so surprised at how well they do. But this one having the box, um, I'm going to say let's do, and the box is a mess, okay? However, it's still in the box. But all four corners are blown out and um, but it fits down perfectly. Um, I would not tape this personally, um, but the owner can choose to tape it. But once you put tape on a box, um, but this box is a little rough, so it's not like you're saving the box. So I'd put tape on it actually. So on this, as I said, I'm gonna do $65. Next we have a beauty. This is signed Miriam Haskell. It has the bottom still. It has the faux pearls and the gold. Um, just stunning. Um, it does have a tiny bit of verdigris down here on the gold, which is very, very common with all Miriam Haskell older pieces. Um, for some reason or another, their gold um, tone um, metals always got vertigree so it just needs to be cleaned really lightly with a medium brush and then um tiny tiny bits of um uh cleaning vinegar is what i use i don't use a lot it's just to stop it from coming back and i wouldn't get it on the um faux pearls and on this one i'm gonna say just 35 dollars but it is beautiful and it is signed. Now this one is not signed. However, it is in the Miriam Haskell um, wire bracelet um, style, I will say. Um, it has all different colors, um, green, browns, blacks, and um, it has um, sequins, it has glass beads, um, here is the back of the um, biggest bead. And um, here's on the back of this one. And on this, I mean, it's a beautiful on, definitely. And it does 
wear beautifully. Um, so this part right here, I don't know if maybe some beads got missing or it's supposed to be like that. Um, but as you see, it is a fantastic look. And if you were a little bit smaller, um, this would come down here. Um, I've just wrapped it really loosely, but it is a stunning piece. And on this one, I'm going to do $35 also. Next, we have this Xanadu watch. Um, really cool. The inside little um, rhinestone or cubic zirconia um, moves. It needs a... Um, battery it is quartz but it's a really cool watch and I'm just going to say ten dollars for the Xanadu watch next we have this gorgeous um, brooch it is in an uh, antique gold and aurora borealis um, rhinestones no missing rhinestones there's the back this is a really good size uh, it is Two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And on that one, I'm going to do $10. It's beautiful with all the color. Next, we have the Joan Rivers brooch. Uh, no missing rhinestones. Uh, blue stone, blue glass. Um, it is signed Joan Rivers on the back. It is an inch and three eighths by about seven eighths of an inch. And on the Joan Rivers brooch, I'm gonna do $30. This is interesting. This is brass, C clasp. It was um, silver. You can tell it had a silver overlay on it and it's leaves. And these were pearls. You can see if you move the pearl, there's the shiny pearl luminescence, but it's missing on all of these. Um, these are glass. Um, however, it's just a craft bra uh, brass br brooch at this time. So on that, I'm just going to say $5. Now we have a couple of Carol Lee pieces. This one is a really pretty yellow and a rhinestone uh, butterfly. There's the back. It says Carol Lee. It is... About an inch and a half by about an inch and a half. And on the butterfly, I'm going to do $8. And then earrings. Let me see. I think these are the Caroly. Yes. Aren't those interesting? I think so. They are uh, clip ons and they're like buttons, oblong buttons but I thought they were really pretty designed to them. They are um, not hollow. They have a nice, um, good feel to them, and they're one inch by three-fourths of an inch. And on the clip-ons, I'm just gonna do $5. Now, interesting, these are by Center. C-I-N-E-R, um, Center is an amazing brand to find center, and they're nicely weighted just perfect for clip-on earrings um, center was founded in 1892 in New York and back then it was called the center manufacturing company and it originally made very expensive jewelry however in 1929 due to the Great Depression the demand for expensive jewelry dropped significantly of course and to stay when business and just to survive the company turned to costume jewelry and then since 1930s the production of costume jewelry was very very high quality reminiscent of jewelry um, that they made before the fine um, jewelry and traditionally the craftsmen used gold plating and faux pearls uh, made in Japan or in special technology and that allowed center to make faux pearls look natural and the technology and rich experience with the um, precious metals allowed the masters to artfully combine the process of stones, gold plating, natural pearls, and rhinestones look like fine jewelry. 
the company began marketing with just the center stamp, C-I-N-E-R, after 1945, and they uh, are still located in New York. The current status of the company is active, re-registered, and renewed, and it is one of the longest line jewelry companies that is still in business. And it's in its fifth generation of managers with the company, with the, with the family. And according to their designers, they draw their inspiration from nature, flora, flora. Um, these, I'm going to guess, are probably from the 80s, if I had to guess the style. Um, but these center um, just stays incredibly, doesn't matter the old pieces, the new pieces, they do well. Some of these pieces can go up in the $200 range. Crazy, but it is true. Um, on these, I'm going to do $35. Beautiful. And I would probably list these in the $60 um, to $70 range online. And just to show you the difference, um, these are no name. Rhinestone, uh, foil-backed rhinestone earrings, two-tone, silver tone, rope detail, up against the blue um, glass, it's gold, very, very pretty. However, these have no name. So on these, I'm just doing $6. Um, but these are weighted, but they are hollow. So they're not that, um, you, you can just tell the difference in the quality of the pieces. These aren't bad, but they're not high end. Next, we have these beauties. Um, these are rhinestone um, clip-ons, I would probably say from the 50s. Aren't they beautiful? These are gorgeous. There's a little bit of fuzz right here. I think they were in a box with white fuzz because it was all over it. I got them out. They're clip-ons, unsigned, um, but really, really cool, I think. And on the rhinestone clip-ons, I'm just gonna do $10. This is a cutie. It's a brooch, um, gold tone, unsigned. Um, it's a daisy and a ladybug. And the center jelly belly is like a, a resin. And this is very reminiscent of the wise brooch um, that you'll find. Um, the wise brooch has lots of um, petals and it's all metal. And on the little daisy, I'm just gonna do $10. Now we have these, these are Avon studs. Um, rhinestone and they're in uh, crosses, I believe. Um, they're just little studs. And on these, I'm just gonna say $5. Now this, I think the company is Spidel, um, fold over clasp, double chain. It is monogrammed on the back, uh, or rather signed on the back. It says Spidel here, but it says friendship and love forever, Lori and Ed, and it's August 17th, 1975. I do have to say, I love the way friends um, gave, um, gifts and had them signed or um, monogrammed or however you say it. Um, we see a lot of that, especially in the um, turn of the century pieces. I just think that's such a cool thing that they did. This is six and three fourths of an inch. And because it is signed so personally, and you can take this to a jeweler, they can, um, get this off and they can also get this off um however i think that's just kind of cool um and on this one i'm just gonna do five dollars now we have this little hand brooch it is not signed it has the ring it has faux pearls it has faux amethyst and i'm not sure if anything was supposed to be in these holes um because it looks like this is in excellent condition there's the back 
I don't see any signature on this. It is a size. Um, one and three eighths by um, three fourths of an inch. But if you notice, this might be an old piece. The um, pin bag comes out over. However, the pin bag, actually the pin bag is older. Um, it looks like it's probably from the forties. Um, and on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do $12. We have these, which are gold overlay, which is gold plated today. Um, they are um, screw backs. They are signed right here by Kermintz. They are real pearls and they're screw back. And on these, I'm going to say, let's do $25. Those are beautiful. The last piece I have is a Monet bracelet. It is a pearl, faux pearl bell. Let me see if I can get it to ring. It does ring. It is a double loop um, signed right here in the tag, Monet. And here on the fo uh, folder for class Monet. And let me get you a size. It has a safety clip. Or rather a safety chain. And it is a size six, a small one. But such a sweet piece. And on this, I'm gonna do $25. So there you go, what'd you think? Hopefully you enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, again, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for all the wonderful get well wishes. It definitely helped. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me. Be sure if you see something that interests you, send us an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com and we will see you on the next one. Bye.